Hey guys, it's Charles again, and wow, it's been a while since I posted a creepypasta, let alone a Tales of Terror from Reddit video. And I've also put videos on hold because behind the camera, I got a new desktop. And I'm currently saving up money to buy a drawing tablet and an animation software for my computer. Well, with that aside, I'm going to tell you the story of, of this creepypasta. It's called, I Rejected Her and She Made My Life a Living Hell. Yeah, I, yeah, I found it on Reddit one time, and I've contacted the user saying, Hey, can I read it for my YouTube channel? He said yes, then when I went to look for it again, the post got deleted. And then, he said that got taken down by the moderator, so he reposted it on this other subreddit, and when I clicked the link to that one, it also wasn't gone. It also was gone. So he had to message me the entire creepypasta through the texting feature on Reddit, and then I copied the text and pasted it on Google Docs and fixed all the grammar mistakes. And boy howdy were there a bunch of grammar mistakes. That's one strike already. While we're on the topic of that of me getting to read that, I'm gonna explain why it took me so long to read it. I got permission to read it in January. And I've actually never intended to read it because of it getting to me now from from other subreddits I thought it was gonna be bad. And then, eventually, since I haven't been uploading stuff in a while, and that's one of the few creepypasta options I have, even though it might not be good, I decided to read that just to get it over with. Which is the story you're gonna hear now. I hope it's good when I read it, and I hope it doesn't turn out like recorded diarrhea on a YouTube video. I Rejected Her and She Made My Life a Living Hell Written by Sweet 72 A bit of backstory on me I'm 18 and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia My parents divorced when I was young And my mom moved to London To run her own business And I stayed here with my dad they're both really wealthy, and I mean really wealthy, so whenever I feel the need to see my mom, they're willing to fly me out to London, and that's where my living hell begins. In London, it was June, and I was in London visiting mom. On my last day, I went to her office and asked if she wanted to get dinner. Naturally, she had forgotten that I was leaving, but said we'd have dinner together at a pub near my hotel. Night, night rolls around and my mom calls me and tells me she can't make it because she has a business call. I didn't mind too much. She loves her job and it makes her happy. So who am I to destroy that? I decided I might as well enjoy dinner on my own, on her tab. And while I was looking through the menu, I noticed a girl, who will rename Nameless due to this still being an open investigation, sitting a few seats away from me, bawling her eyes out, I handed her a napkin and she smiled at me. I asked how if she was okay and she spun me a story about how she was supposed to be meeting her boyfriend here but he bailed on her apparently despite only being 17 she was going to ask him to marry her and even had a ring ready she then showed me a video that was sent to her of her boyfriend kissing a nerd girl at a party. Despite having a girlfriend, I've never been good at knowing what to say in these situations. So I just said to her, any guy who would cheat on you 
or reject you doesn't deserve you. She seemed to agree, and then I asked her if she had eaten anything while she was at the bar. She said no, so I offered to buy her dinner to cheer her up. We spent a few hours chatting and getting to know each other. I told her about my life in Atlanta, and she told me how she had been abandoned by her dad years ago, and had pretty much had to raise herself because her mom was a flake. Eventually, I noticed the time and told the girl it was time for me to leave because I had an early flight. She seemed disappointed, and then I told her not to worry about the bill, as I would charge whatever she had to my tab, including any drinks she wanted after. As I was leaving, she asked me to take a selfie with me. I agreed. She then asked if she could kiss me to say goodbye. I told her no and that I could never be unfaithful to my girlfriend like that. She responded to me by saying, Okay, well then tell her you didn't kiss me. Tell her I kissed you. And she did. She planted her face o all over mine and wouldn't stop until I pushed her off. I told her not to do that again and I walked out of the pub. I was waiting for maybe 5 minutes for a taxi and then she came out of the pub and told me I'd left my phone inside. She gave it to me. I thanked her and left. The next day, I got on my flight from Heathrow and miraculously slept the whole way which I've never done before. As much as I love London, it was great to be back in Atlanta so I could see my girlfriend again. There were still two months of summer left so we could enjoy all the time. My dad was already leaving by the time I got home. He had a business meeting in Dubai and would be back in a few days. He got into chauffeured roles and left me with his Amex Black. My friends came by and invited me to the beach party that night, but that they needed me to get alcohol first. I offered to drive and I took them to this really rundown liquor shop where they always believe my fake ID. After that, we went to the beach and I finally saw my girlfriend after a month of being apart. A few hours passed and we were on our own little area of the beach and I asked her if she wanted to go back to my house. As we were getting ready to leave, she got an alert on Instagram that I had been tagged in a post. To my surprise, that girl from London had posted the selfie of us and then another photo of us kissing which I didn't even know she took. Needless to say, but my girlfriend was pissed and she took off before I could even explain what was going on. The next day she called me and asked to meet. Thank God I could explain what was happening. Turned, it was her, the girl from London. She was here in Atlanta. She told me her dad was here on business and she tagged along so she could see me. She apologized for uploading the photo and hugged me. Just as my girlfriend walked in, I broke away from the girl and she noticed my girlfriend, apologized to her too, and left. 
My girlfriend was pissed, but I explained everything to her. She accepted the story and apologized for the night before. But then she dropped an air bomb. She was breaking up with me. She loved me, but didn't want to be in a relationship where she was feeling threatened by other girls all the time. I tried reasoning with her, but she had made up her mind. Naturally, I was angry, 